and good morning. My name is John Whitmayer. I'm the director of music ministry at Salem Lutheran Church and School, and it's my privilege to bring you a devotion this morning. Today's devotion is another in the series of Monday Blessings written by my father, Pastor Gary Whitmayer, during his time in active ministry. Today's devotion is based on Luke chapter 24, verse 32, which reads, Were not our hearts burning within us? Pastor Gary writes, Often our ignorance of certain realities causes us to deem some things impossible. Did you know steel will burn? Let me digress. In the days of yore, fires were started with flint and steel. A spark from the flint had to be caught in some sort of tinder. Our frontiersmen always had a little container filled with charred cloth or bark, a tinder box. A spark caught in the tinder would glow brightly. Other fuel would be added, and then a judicious amount of blowing had a fire started in a short period of time. We modern woodsmen have an almost foolproof tinder. It is called steel wool. Most people do not know that fine steel wool will catch a spark and burn hotly. I first learned about steel wool's flammable qualities as a young man when I nearly burned down my workbench. My supply of steel wool was kept in a drawer near my grinder. A spark from the grinding wheel into a partially open drawer ignited a large bundle of, of the steely stuff. It gets very hot, very fast. Like a tinderbox catching a spark, our hearts are set ablaze by the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even hearts that seem hard and steely are inflamed by the word of God. Once that spark catches, and the Spirit's wind blows gently but steadily, our smoldering faith is fanned into a Pentecost fire. Our hearts burn within us. Jesus' words give us hope to the hearts that dare not hope, a task that seems impossible as steel burning. I will be your God. You will be my people. Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32 read, what, then, shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with them, graciously give us all things? Neither you nor anything that you confront in this life is bigger than God. Your situation is neither impossible nor hopeless. Think hard about that open grave that is yours in Christ Jesus. Does not your heart burn within you? Steel does burn. You win. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, which fans the spark of God's word into the flames of faith. Help us to rely on you in all situations and share that flame with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for listening today. May God bless your Monday and your week. Goodbye.